Hey, Sean here at Muse and Company Outdoors. We're in the shop today. We got a lot of questions about our toilets. Where are they located? How do they function? Where does the waste go? Does it smell? Today, we're rolling up our sleeves and we're talking all things toilet. So first things first, where do we hide the toilet in our vans? We don't wanna see the toilet when it's not in use. So what we've done is we've developed a clever Ottoman toilet cabinet. So right down here, in this ottoman, there's a little slide out toilet here. Here it is, the Dometic 970 series toilet. This is mounted on 300 pound drawer slides, so it's plenty heavy duty to take your weight. It also has a locking drawer slide, so when it's fully extended, it won't slide in on you. So when you're all done, just go ahead and push on the drawer slide, and it'll slide back home. This is the Dometic 970 series portable toilet, often referred to as a cassette toilet. Is there a difference? Not really. By definition, a cassette toilet is mounted inside the van with a removable cartridge from outside the van. These portable toilets have a little bit of an advantage. They can be mounted inside the van and also removed for use outside, which is great because if you get to camp, you want to use it outside, keep the smells and odors away, you have that option, which really makes it our choice here at Music Company Outdoors. Let's take a closer look and see how they function. Here we have both models of the Dometic 970 series toilet. We have a 2.6 gallon model and we have a five gallon model. Both models are available in our vans. The 2.6 gallon model is available in the Explorer. The five gallon model is available in the Endeavor and Venture models. Both toilets have a 2.3 gallon freshwater tank up top. The wastewater tanks are the big difference and that's the great portion at the bottom. Let's do a quick walk around of the Dometic 970 series toilet. We use the 2.6 gallon model for reference. It's identical to the five gallon up top. The only difference is the waste tank size. Starting up top, we have our lid with locking handle. We have our seat. On the right side, we have a fresh water fill cap. That's where our flush water goes. On the left side, we have our pressurizing pump. This will pressurize the fresh water to help you get a nice clean flush. To operate the flush, it's a push button right up front here. We have our slide valve. This allows the waste from the upper portion to enter the lower portion. And we also have our locking slide here. This locks the unit to its base. Let's show you how the toilet works. Step one, fresh water fill. All you do is unscrew the fresh water fill cap. We filled some already, but you just wanna grab some of your favorite water, fill the reservoir. The reservoir is 2.3 gallons. What you wanna do is just fill about a one inch below uh, the top of the fill cap. Put the cap back on snugly. This chamber is going to be pressurized, so you don't want air leaking out. Second step, a lot of people want to use a deodorizer. We picked these up from the local marine store. They're available at RV stores or online. The deodorizer goes into the waste tank. So you want to pull the slide valve, get a cap full of your favorite deodorizer, pour it in the bottom, close the slide valve to seal that chamber. It's almost ready to flush. What we need to do is apply pressure to the tank now. Manufacturer recommends 15 pumps of pressure. We'll just give it a few right now. This is pressurizing the tank. Don't worry, you can't overpressurize the tank. There is a relief valve at the top of the fresh water cap that will allow that excess pressure to go. So just go ahead and give it a few pumps and it's ready to use. So over time, your waste tank is gonna reach capacity. How do you know when it's full? Right on the front of the unit is a waste level indicator. When this reaches the top, it's time to dump your stuff. What you want to do is, of course, close the lid, pull the locking handle. To get it up, we want to tilt the unit backwards and then pull forward. This will get it off the metal brackets. Now we have access to the rear. We need to separate the white freshwater unit from the gray black water unit. To do so, we just want to pull on this plastic tab and separate the top from the bottom. So now we have the freshwater portion separate from the black water portion. This is what you're going to bring with you into the rest stop toilet or any RV dump station. The way it works is pretty simple. What you wanna do is first open the air vent valve to open. When you go into the toilet, what you'll do is just rotate the dump spout, unscrew the cap, and physically dump your waste out. When you're all done, if you're near some fresh water, there's a hose available. Go ahead, open the slide valve, rinse it out, close it, dump again. It's a little extra, extra clean. Put the cap back on, rotate back to the original position. Important, you need to put this air vent back to the closed position. 
the tank is sealed again, we're ready to reassemble it. What you want to do is take the gray black water base and your white fresh water top. You want to set the front of the unit in and then go ahead and just give it a snap in the back. Now it's all one unit together. In our vans, we use the optional metal mounting brackets. What you'll do there is you slide the rear of the toilet into the back brackets first, rotate down to grab the front brackets. We'll now use our locking clip to slide into the front of the unit. If that slid in, it's all attached to the main base itself. You're ready to go again. I hope you found this video informative. If you wanna learn more about van life components or our van conversions here at Muse & Company Outdoors, please visit our website, museoutdoors.com. See you on the road. Thank you.